plants, right? They change some of the glucose that they need. They, they make in their leaves into what? Into starch, right? And then starch is made of many glucose units joined together. So you can write that statement that plants, they change some of the glucose they make in their leaves into mm -hmm. starch. They change some of the glucose they made into what? Into starch. One of you have to know, you know, yesterday we've been doing the homework for starch, you know, so you have to be very familiar. Because we are Can saying some of, some of the glucose they make in their leaves into what? Into starch. Into starch. Right? So basically what we are saying is uh, they change what? The sugar, right? Or the glucose in the leaves into what? Into starch. And starch a uh, is made up of many right and starch is made up of many glucose units joined together starch is made up of many glucose units joined together and starch is made up of many glucose units joined together so So, right. So, uh, if you look at a banana, right? Uh, plants they store starch in what? In fruits, right? Again, plants they can store starch in their what? In their roots. Uh, like if you check carrot, a carrot is a root, right? If you check sweet potatoes, or like potatoes, potatoes, right? And then some of the plants they store what? Starch in their what? In their leaves. Like if you check green vegetables right and then plants they can also uh, store their starch in stems like in onions right and some of the starch is stored in seeds right you can check nuts and the like so uh, in natural science and technology we do activities or experiments are we together so we want to compare a uh, glucose sugar and starch so when we are doing that experiment or that activity, we need glucose. So glucose can be liquid, it can be glucose powder or glucose sweets, right? And then starch, it can be corn flour or maize, right? And then we need teaspoon and sauces. So we can say the first thing is for you to put a teaspoon in liquid glucose, right? Or from glucose powder or from glucose water into a what? Into a saucer. And then you put a teaspoon of cornstarch into another what? Into another sauce. All together. And then you look at the glucose and the what? And the starch. Do they look the same? Right? They are different, right? So what color is the glucose? Remember that uh, glucose uh, sweets again, they have got colored to them. So you have to know the color of starch. So, uh, when we want to test the starch, like from our experiment for yesterday, we said starch is made by what? By green plants and stored in different parts of the what? Of the plant. So, uh, we can test starch is present in a plant with a solution of a substance called iodine. So, I want you to write that. We can test, a, we can test the presence of starch. We can test the presence of starch. We can test the presence of starch with a solution. We can test the presence of, of starch in a plant or in a food. In a plant or in a food, we can test the presence of starch in a plant or in a... We can test the presence, right, in a food with a solution. Uh, in a plant or, in a... or in a food right with a solution of a substance called iodine that's what we've been doing yesterday right 
So if you want to test whether there is starch or there is no starch, we use what? The iodine solution. Are we together? So iodine solution, you can write iodine. Iodine solution. No, the spelling for iodine is start with I. I O, not O I. Iodine solution is yellow brown in color. Iodine solution is yellow brown in what? In color. Iodine solution is yellow brown in color. Right? And it changes to blue back when you add it to starch. So it changes to what? Blue black. So it, it will be yellow brown. And then when you add starch, it changes mm -hmm. to blue black. But then uh, when there is no starch, it will remain what? Yellow brown. So we are saying when there is no what? Starch. It will just remain as it is. Are we together? So, there are certain food that have got starch and some of them don't have what? Starch. So, you have to remember uh, the color of iodine. So, sometimes you can be asked, what is the subject that is used to take starch? You know it's what? Iodine solution. Are we together? And you have to know that its original color is yellow brown. And when there is starch, it changes to what? To blue black. Right. Do you have any questions on this topic? Right, before we move to the next topic, right, so uh, this one, we'll cover it uh, next week, plants and what, and air, uh, right, so is it clear, Enrique, mm -hmm. I also want you to ask me questions if uh, you don't understand, right, on yesterday's assignment, is it clear, right, because I don't want you to have problems. When we cover something, we assume that we have covered. And don't also forget to revise your work. Try to revise your work each and every what? Every day. You revise your mathematics, you revise your English, you revise your Africans, you revise everything. It's good for you. Right? You see, now we are in February. Days are moving. When we are in January, we are saying like, ah, oh, we are just starting school. But you can see now, this is almost three weeks. Or well, this is effectively the fourth week now understand it's week week four we are now entering week three week four of our school so uh, i expect you to be a little bit serious are we together so let's for today our nst is 